Welcome to Scribbler Beyond the Basics. In this video I just want to show you some of the things that you can do with Scribbler that kind of go beyond uh, the original scope that we did in the last video where we talked about basically the drawing tools and how to share the room. Alright, uh, the main thing that I want to talk about here is the Assets tab. If you click over here on the Assets tab, what you have is a space kind of like a drop box where you can drop some files in that you can actually drag right into the whiteboard space so that your students can use those. Here's how it works. When you're on the Assets tab, you click on the Add button. What that's going to do is bring up this box, this Upload box right here. And what I like about this box is it tells you all you need to know right here. First thing it does is it tells you what files you can upload. Uh, those would be a PowerPoint, a PDF, and these three are picture files, JPEG, GIF, and PNG files. Also tells you the maximum file size, 5 megs, which is pretty big. And another piece of very important information, if you're doing a PowerPoint or a PDF file, you're only going to get the first five slides of a PowerPoint or the first five pages of a PDF. Um, of course, you can get around that if you save it. You know, if you take a PowerPoint that's 10 slides and you save it two files of five slides each, you can upload them separately and uh, it'll work out that way. Uh, one thing that I, I do think is cool is if you upload a PowerPoint, these slides will each get their own whiteboard space, um, which is helpful. All right, let me show you uh, how to go ahead and upload these files. All you do is hit Browse. When you get in the window, just find the file that you need. Uh, I'm just going to do, I'll do this footprint. And then you've got some options here. You can allow your users to download the file, which I usually do. And you can automatically add it to the whiteboard after you upload it, which I usually keep that checked too. All right, let me go ahead and upload it. All right, here's my footprint. My first asset comes up over here. Automatically put it in there. And once you load things in, they're just like any other object. You can resize them. You can move them. Uh, you can write on top of them. Um, lots of cool ways to use this. You know, if you upload a diagram, you can have students to label the diagram. Basically, any asset that, or any resource that you use that you'd like them to draw on, you can bring right in here. All right, and uh, just like any other object, if I want to, I can just click it, delete it. Now, uh, it does stay over here in the Asset tab. If you want to delete it out of the Asset tab, you have to actually click on it and click this Delete button right here. Also, down here, you can see how to download the file. If I click on the Asset and click on this button, it'll download a, a copy of the file. Here it is. I'm in Chrome. It kind of comes up here in Chrome. And so if I just click on it, you can see I've got it now saved in my computer. If you are in Internet Explorer or Safari or Firefox, it'll bring up that box and ask you to download or save the file. All right, one other thing I want to show you here in the Asset tab is how to take a screenshot. Now let's say I've got some students that have done some really good work and I want to hang on to it. This isn't necessarily it, but uh, let me show you how to save that work. All right, uh, the Snapshot button is right here. I click on the Snapshot button takes a picture of exactly what was on the screen. Now I can save that picture by right clicking and saving it just like any other picture on the internet. Or you can see it came in my asset tab. I can click on it and I can download it just like anything else. Another thing that is also really interesting is if you've got a page that your students have done and you want to clone the page, you can take that snapshot and you can drag it onto the page and you can basically get like a clone of the page. So if you're making multiple pages and they all have the same kind of information and you have different groups working on different pages, you can clone your page and it'd be a lot easier way to uh, get that set up for your students. All right, uh, so that's the Assets tab. Um, I want to also move over to some of the other ways that you can share this room. In the last video I showed you all you had to do was copy and paste that link that is true but there are some other options to share the room and they're up here if you go up to room options and click on the arrow you can send email invites pretty straightforward the other one that I like is by embedding this room it gives you two options you can actually take this embed code copy it to the clipboard and in your site you can actually embed the the room itself so they wouldn't need the web address, they would just go to your website and they could actually use the room right there in your website. I also like this button. 
Um, instead of a URL, a long URL, you can take this button, copy it to the clipboard, and it, uh, copy that embed code into your website, and you'll get this nifty little button that they can just click on, and it takes them right to the right to the room. All right, the very last thing I want to show you is this audio. This is another cool version or another cool aspect of Scribbler. It uh, allows audio. So if I click on start, and I'm not going to do it here because my microphone is on, but if I hit start, anyone that's in the room that has a microphone um, and you got your speakers up, you can actually start talking and have conversations right within Scribbler, which I think is a really cool little tool. Um, all they do is hit start, and then they'll have to stop it when they're done. And uh, one thing I did find out is it allows multiple audio at the same time. So if you've got a couple people that hit start, and their audio is going, you can actually hear more than one at the same time. Now, of course, that's a management thing. If you uh, don't want everyone to talk at the same time, you have to set that up and make sure they're aware of that. Uh, but I think that is a pretty cool tool. All right, so that is Scribbler. Uh, we did the basics. This is beyond the basics. Kind of gives you an idea of some of the more advanced stuff. And uh, thanks for listening, and uh, happy scribbling.